So today we want to talk about electric fields. Um, this is really the beginnings of all of your understanding of electricity. Um, I guess the first thing is the structure of atoms um, and electrons because we start looking at charge. So let's just briefly mention that. Um, you can have positive charges, you can have negative charges, um, and positive charges are attracted to negative um, charges. Uh, positive charges are repelled by other positive charges and negative charges are repelled by other negative charges. And the electric field uh, has a characteristic, has a direction that is, which um, helps you work out exactly what direction um, a particular charge in that field will, um, what force that will experience and which direction it will go in. Um, so, uh, first of all, uh, well second of all, because we've already done the first of all, um, there are many different types of fields. Field theory is a way of interpreting um, what we see around us. We imagine that there is a field, like a force field, because um, when you put a particular particle in that field, it experiences a force. Other force fields are gravitational. Um, gravitational uh, force or field, gravitational field strength. You've got magnetic and various nuclear um, fields. Um, so, uh, that's, that's just your first point, comparing them out to other fields. Um, there are similar equations and so forth as well. Now the distinctives. Um, the field has a shape, and we represent the shape with field lines. And the field lines, if we look at this positive charge over here, um, there are lines coming out in all directions, evenly spaced, evenly ash spaced, perpendicular to the surface. So they're perpendicular. And uh, there is an arrow on each of these which shows the direction of the force uh, due to the field which is experienced uh, by a positive charge. So a positive charge in here will be repelled, it will experience a force pushing it away. Um, a negative uh, a negative um, charge, like this point charge on the right hand side here, that's what I'm talking about with these point charges, the positive one the first is a point, this negative one is going to have exactly the same, let's draw these just a little bit better, more evenly spaced, coming out perpendicular from the surface for all of these, um, and uh, this time the arrows will point inwards because a positive charge is attracted to a negative charge. So the direction of the arrows is very important, the spacing of the arrows, even spacing, um, and the um, perpendicular to the surface. So those are three really important things. And now we want to look at plates, because this is actually where we start getting a bit more useful. Um, your classic plates are for a capacitor. We have two parallel plates. One might be connected to the positive terminal of a battery, one might be connected to the negative terminal of a battery. Um, and what we'll find is um, we'll get a charge built up on those plates, um, and there'll be an electric field in the middle there. And that electric field, let's not get too many different colours. The electric field is going to run uh, perpendicular coming up from the surface, evenly spaced, and uh, it's going to be in the direction of the positive charge. So we've got these arrows pointing from positive to negative. Now here's an interesting little bit. As it gets near the edge, um, it's going to bend out slightly. And that's just because there's no further electric field out here and below. But the arrow direction is still the same. And this is also trying to keep a perpendicular um, point of origin from, from the source at the end. If we were to look at the very end of this, um, let's just move and zoom in. If we were to look at the very end of this, we would see, uh, it, it would be like the rounded point um, that's our metal blade there, showing the outside of it, and we would have evenly spaced field lines coming out. 
uh, and that's the negative side just down here so we know which means a positive charge will be attracted towards towards it. So coming from out of here you would actually have various field lines still and even on the outside too but um, usually you, you don't worry too much about what's happening on the outside with arrows pointing inwards. Okay so uh, zoom it back down, There's, have we covered everything? We've missed, we've lost our uh, our third point. Well you might not have lost it on your uh, screen but I've lost it on mine. In any case the, the final point uh, I was going to talk about is um, electric field strength. Um, we call it E with a little wiggly line underneath the shots of vector field because it has the direction which is the arrows on there um, and the electric field strength is described as the amount of force per um, per charge. Q is a symbol for charge measured in coulombs uh, and that is and F is force measured in newtons. Electric field strength is newtons per coulomb so like gravitational field strength which is uh, newtons per kilogram. Um, that's worth thinking a little bit and pondering on but that equation is very important it represents um, yeah if we were to put a, a positive charge in here we would experience a force to the right and, and that, uh, that force is dependent upon the electric field strength and the size of the charge. Um, so we could actually rearrange this formula to be a little bit more useful to us. F equals electric field strength times by the charge. And this is very similar to F equals uh, mg. This time G is the gravitational field strength where E is the electric field strength, M is the mass, and Q is the electric mass, if you like. It's not strictly speaking right, but um, it gets, uh, draws a parallel between two parts of different fields um, and makes it easier to remember. So uh, again, you can see that if the electric field strength increases, the force on the charge will increase. If the size of the charge increases, um, the, the force will also increase. And this makes sense if you think a little bit about it. Uh, anyway, so that's electric fields and brief intro to them. Next we look at work done in electric fields, very similar to work done in a gravitational field and uh, voltage, which I'm sure you know voltage is related to electricity.